the sensory motor systems tend to be considered together because they are very much interconnected, not only in our everyday activities. Think about the importance of pain in protecting us from dangers, the importance of touching, learning the shape of the world, including sophisticated activities like braille reading, or to transfer emotions, touch therapy has become important in the care of premature newborns because it favors development. And uh, touch is fundamental to manipulate objects and to control for movement. Also in the brain, the two regions devoted to motor commands and body sensations are close one another, as uh, Penfield has found uh, during his uh, surgical procedures when he was uh, stimulating the exposed brain to find that the cortical regions evoking a movement in a body part were exactly in front of the regions evoking the sensation that the same body part was being touched. And so he could uh, design and uh, picture the cortical uh, representation of motor actions and uh, also of uh, the area activated by touching uh, the same body parts. And uh, as you can see, they're very much similar besides being very close uh, one to the other. These uh, representations have also been uh, developed uh, in uh, 3D models uh, exposed in uh, some museums. Uh, this is uh, one example exposed in the National History Museum of London. As you can see from the 3D representations, the shape uh, of the representation is not uh, with the same proportion of our body size. And this is because uh, regions that require very skilled uh, movements or sophisticated processing of touch, like our uh, fingers, have a larger representation, and this is due largely to brain plasticity in the sense that the regions that require more training are also more developed in the brain. And this is relevant also because uh, each one of us have uh, their own homunculus. Also, not only we activate uh, um, complex uh, motor pathways and circuits when we perform movements, but also when we observe other people performing actions or when we imagine a movement. And this has been shown using uh, a functional magnetic resonance imaging, using uh, uh, measures of neuronal metabolism, and also by measuring EG signals uh, from uh, electrical activity of neurons. But this has also been shown uh, using transcranial magnetic simulation. Here we can see Professor Rizzolatti, who is the founder of the neural neurons uh, in uh, our brain that are activated by the observation of actions performed by others. There is also another method to test uh, the uh, motor cortical excitability and brain plasticity, which is a transcranial magnetic stimulation. And here we can see that uh, the stimulation of the pain in a non-painful way with magnetic uh, stimuli can activate our brain areas, um, sending motor commands to our muscles, and we can record the movement and the electrical activation of those muscles and also perform uh, maps uh, of the cortical uh, motor representation like Penfield was doing, but in uh, healthy people without exposing their brain. And this uh, also allowed uh, not only to test uh, our brain excitability in different conditions, but also to measure brain cortical plasticity of our motor cortex. Here in this example, we can see that uh, just uh, playing the piano and learning to play the piano can reshape uh, the representation of our hand muscles. That becomes much more symmetrical after years and years of training. But uh, the brain cortical plasticity, although is much uh, more potent in uh, early years of our life, uh, uh, never stops. And um, this is uh, very promising, uh, so we should keep uh, training, uh, as uh, demonstrated by Johanna Poas, who is uh, 95 years old and uh, still performing uh, gymnastics. This is the last example showing that we can learn at any age and reshape our brain. Uh, 
uh, people over 65 could be demonstrated to be capable of learning to juggle. And uh, this was also related to reshaping of the brain circuits uh, involved uh, in this activity. But we have to keep in mind that it is not lasting forever. We have to keep training, uh, otherwise it will be reversible and uh, disappear again. So this is a message that uh, we should uh, work uh, using our brain plasticity, but also work uh, to keep it.